In this lesson, we will talk about the four types of data, nominal data, ordinal data, interval data, and ratio data. The nominal and ordinal types of data are categorical data. Interval and ratio data are quantitative or continuous types of data. Let's first talk in detail about the nominal data type. A nominal data type is data that can be put into categories, names, or labels. There is no natural ordering to nominal data. An example of a variable or a data type that is nominal is professions. Teacher, doctor, accountant, pharmacist, truck driver. These are labels or categories and there is no natural ordering to the types of professions, therefore this data type is nominal. Now let's talk about the ordinal data type. When you hear ordinal, the first thing that you should, the word that should come to mind is order. In the ordinal data type, there is a natural ordering to your variable or your data. But differences do not make sense for this type of data. For instance, let's take income level. A person's income level can be low, moderate, or high. There is a natural ordering from low to high for this data type, but we cannot take a difference of a person that has moderate income. We can't take the difference of moderate income and low income. So this is an ordinal type of data. The third type of data is interval data. For interval data, we have a continuous or quantitative data type. Order, you can put the data into order from low to high. Now, differences do make sense, but ratios don't make sense because there is no starting point to this type of data. An example of an interval data type is daily high temperatures. Suppose the daily high temperature in January for some particular day was 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Suppose the daily high temperature for, for some day in April was 72 degrees Fahrenheit. We can subtract and find the difference of those two high days, 36 degrees, but it doesn't make sense to say that it was twice as warm on this particular day than this day in January. Why does it not make sense to say that it's twice as warm? Well, what does it mean to be twice as warm? Zero degrees Fahrenheit does not indicate that there's no temperature. Ratios don't make sense for this type of data, but differences do. Therefore, it is an interval type of data. The last type of data is the ratio data type. For this type of data, order makes sense. You can order your data from low to high. Differences make sense. You can take the differences of two, any two values of, of ratio type. And now ratios do make sense. There is a starting point to your type of data. An example of a ratio data type is age. You can be two years old, any year in between, or 12 years old. There's a natural order from young to old. You can take the difference. A 12-year-old is 10 years older than a 2-year-old. And ratios make sense because at birth, you are 0 years old and you progress up as you get older. There is a natural starting point at birth. And we can say that the 12-year-old is 6 times older than the two-year-old. So ratios make sense and the ratio data type. Now let's take an exam, let's look at some examples of different data and classify them as to nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio. The first variable or the first data type is doneness of meat. Whether the meat is rare, medium rare, medium, medium well, or well done. There's a natural order to this data from least done to most done, but we cannot take differences between a medium well piece of meat and a medium rare piece of meat. 
So there is order, but differences don't make sense. Therefore, it must be an ordinal type of data. And we have the doneness of meat is ordinal. Our second data type is the height of two-year-old boys. Is there a natural ordering to height? Yes, we can order the heights from low to high, least to greatest. Can we take differences of heights of two different boys? Yes. And can we form the ratio? And does it make sense that one boy is one and a half times taller than another boy? Yes, that makes height a ratio very type of data. Height of two-year-old boys is a ratio data type. Our next data type example is types of apples. Golden Delicious, Granny Smith, Macintosh, or Rome. Apples. These are labels or different categories of apples, but there is no natural ordering to Golden Delicious, Granny Smith, Macintosh, or Rome. Therefore, type of apple is a nominal data type. Our next example is the years in which a person had surgery. For instance, 1992, 1997, 2003, and 2006. There's order, 92, 97, 2003, 2006. We can take the difference of two years and say that the person's second surgery was five years after the first surgery. But taking a ratio of 1997 to 1992 does not make sense. Therefore, this is an interval type of data. The next example is commute times. How long does it take a person to get to work? A person who works from home will have a commute time of zero minutes. A person could have a commute time of 24 minutes or 36 minutes. Is there natural ordering to this data? Yes, there is. You can order from least commute time to greatest commute time. Does it make sense to take differences between two commute times? Yes, we can say that a person whose commute time is 36 minutes is 12 minutes greater than a person who has a commute time of 24 minutes. Does it make sense to take a ratio of commute times? Yes, we can say that a person who has a commute time of 36 minutes is one and a half times greater than a person's commute time, a person with a commute time of 24 minutes. Because there's order, differences make sense, and ratios make sense, commute times are a ratio type of data. Looking at the next example, types of flooring, tile, linoleum, hardwood floors, or laminate. These are labels or names of types of flooring, but there's no natural ordering to the, to the, type, to the, to the labels. Therefore, this data type is nominal. Looking at the time a person leaves work each day, whether it be 4 p.m., 4.15, 6 p.m., etc. The time a person leaves for work is an interval data type. Why? There's a natural ordering. The person who left at 4 p.m. left before a person who left at 6 p.m. Does it make sense to take differences of times? Yes, the person who left at 6 p.m. left two hours later than the person who left at 4 p.m. But does it make sense to form a ratio of 6 p.m. to 4 p.m.? No, a ratio doesn't make sense. So therefore, we have an interval type of data. And our last example is household income level, whether it be poverty level, low, moderate, or high. There is a natural ordering from low to high for this type of data, but differences don't make sense. Therefore, we have an ordinal type of data. So to summarize, the nominal type of data is categories, lists, or names. The ordinal data type order, you can order your, your data from low to high, but taking differences does not make sense. Interval type of data, the data can be ordered from low to high. Differences do make sense, but ratios do not. And then the ratio data type, 
You can order the data from low to high. Differences make sense, and so do ratios.